Time to fight Sonic. Oh, ah, take that. Hiya. Oh, you have to get him in the backside. Oh my. Smack that ass. I think you might like, you can auto kill him if you trick him into jumping into the water. Oh my gosh, yes. But it doesn't matter. He's dead anyway. Oh. How was that for a fight? We beat it in less than 20 seconds. Hmm. Yay. I gotta say, like, if I were to compare, like, Sonic Spikes to, like, Shadows, it seems like Sonic Spikes are just, like, greasy-ish and flat. And Shadows are, like, stylized. Yeah, remember this part? Now Sonic's gonna have to escape. Meanwhile, so do we. Yay. But we already did our jungle level, so we're not gonna do a jungle level to escape. We, we gotta find Rouge. At the speed of sound. And Rouge's like, what? But we use our teleporting powers! I can teleport! Yeah, because, well, normally Shadow can only teleport over, like, short distances, but in this case, I believe Shadow has a Chaos Emerald, and the Rouge has her three or four, so with the power of, like, three to five Chaos Emeralds, Shadow could do much bigger teleports. Bigger teleport. Whoa, that was a really quick subtitle. It's just like, arc, poof, here we are. Yeah, she looks like a 1980s Barbie. The professor said his life's work was dedicated to all of those who live down there. He once told that the reason for his existence was making people happy through the power of science. That's why he invented a cannon that blows up Earth. I don't know anything anymore. I mean, they can't be unhappy if they're scared. What my purpose right? is for being here. Maybe if I go down there, I, I will find the answers. Maybe. Why do I have these stupid ring cuffs on my hands? I mean, it makes me feel like oh, yeah. I've been enslaved. Why so melancholy? Because Why I'm a dark so character. so melancholy? That was so unexpected. Because I'm brooding so and have a dark past. Shadow, to come and rescue me. Bitch, we've known each other for like two days. Control, Get off me! Handy. You know, I didn't come to save you. I came back for the Chaos Emeralds. Because I'm a Sundere. I don't care about your supposed romances. I am Mr. Clockbot. <laughs> Clockbot? <laughs> I mean, cockblock. Oh, cockblock. Cockblock is what it is. I thought you meant like Clockbot, like he doesn't care what time it is and like, we have to do this thing now. I don't know. Like Clockbot works fine. Cockblock, that makes much more sense. Not good with words. So now this is Eggman's thing where he does his demonstration of like blowing up the earth, and there's oh the God. really creepy <laughs> looking kid. <laughs> I mean, kids are kind of creepy to begin with. You don't have to make them look even more creepy. I know, right? Actually, kids aren't really all that creepy. They're kind of cute. I work with them. I would like to have one at some point in time in the far future. And then I could do Let's Plays with him or her. Or them. Or whatever they want to be. And we just need to have two kids, and then, and then we'll have four players all the time. Until, like, um, well, they're still babies. You can't have a baby play a game. I, Rosie, I know. <laughs> I know it's a work in progress, but I'm saying in the future. <laughs> in the future. In the future. Wow, look at that shooting star. It'd be like the first, like, let's play family. Let's play family. Let's Doesn't that sound, family. that sounds fun. Yeah. Look at we that guy, he's like, like, wow. a little bit older. Yeah. The moon is on fire. So wait, like, when they're toddlers, which one of us is going to, like, take care of the kids when the other's recording? Uh, well, I mean, if we're recording, then I got to record. Mm -hmm. How about we Unless just you have your own YouTube channel at that point. <laughs> well, I don't know really if I would. How about we just adopt kids that are old enough to play games with us? <laughs> and they can just be our, like, little... That'd be like a weird reason to adopt a kid. I don't know. I just want someone to be my fourth player. Yeah. I'm and the adoption agency is going to be like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, they're not even going to go to school. We're homeschooling them with video games. Mm -hmm. There's educational games out there. And we have the internet. Throwing a tantrum like a little kid. Totally embarrassing. Does she like have a thing for like Cinderace or something? I don't know. 
We had a deal, right? So where is my emerald? Here you go. I found this. Why didn't you show me? So basically, they have six chaos emeralds, and the seven is owned by Tails, which we already knew from the hero story. But yes. Now this right here is actually a reference. If I remember correctly, this is a reference to the original Sonic Adventure, oh, okay. where Tails defeats Dr. Eggman from destroying Station Square. Oh, cool. And from Sonic Adventure 1. And apparently, according to this dialogue right here, they gave Tails a Chaos Emerald for doing so. Oh, we just have one of these laid around, so here's your reward. Pretty much. Did you get that? Soon enough, Maria. This is Maria. I hear you scream your name in bed sometimes. <laughs> so basically, she's just spying on Shadow. And she gets paid in jewels from the government. Good enough. Well, if they were just like one of those like fake plastic jewels that she gets and she thinks they're real. All right, we get our racing level now. Remember, remember Tails racing in his car? Oh, yeah. Now we're following him. I don't think you ever, like, experienced those fake, like, plastic tools, did you? Uh, oh, I know what they are. Like, the ones that have the stickies on the back, so you pretend they're, like, piercings. Oh, no, actually, I didn't know about those. Oh, there's ones that are, like, you know, fake earrings that have, like, stickies on the back, and they're, like, little jewels. I never wore them as piercings as a kid. I was just like, these are cool little sticky jewels. I'm gonna use them for pretend. Can I, can I drift with L and R? Or am I just doomed to crash if I don't slow down? Holy shit, this is way faster than I remember. A car! Let's destroy Let's it! Let's wreck it! Hi, were you traveling for vacation this weekend? Oh, sorry. <laughs> My god, it went flying! Did you see that? <laughs> ah! This makes me so happy. <laughs> this is why I don't drive in real life. <laughs> no! 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 Oh, I tripped over him. No! Whoa, what? You can spin out in this game? I've never done that. Run over the taxi. No, 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 oh, no. You oh, know ah! I love how it just lifts off of his face. <laughs> Whoa! Like it doesn't it doesn't like it doesn't like spin out or maybe like do a flip. It just it's oh fucking gone. It just it floats away. And here's the wind up and the pitch. Oh! I have no idea where that one went. I think he just phased through it. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's gone. Poof. And it's gone. It's oh god, gone. oh god! Oh, oh, I must just went flying off an uh, edge. Oh, you know what? We should, like, stream someday. Oh, or shit! Play. What? Uh, we should record Grand Theft Auto. Oh, yeah, that'd be a lot of fun. I've always wanted to do a Grand Theft Auto stream with Rachel. <laughs> oh, my but gosh, that'd be fun. It, it never worked out time-wise. I haven't seen oh, Rachel yeah, in so be, long now. College? Yeah, we both lead, lead very busy lives in different areas, so we never see each other anymore. Oh my god! That car phased through the ground! Oh my gosh. But yeah, I think it'd be really fun to play Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. I remember, like, watching you and Rachel and, like, a few other people. Yeah, Chris lives. and Avery. Oh, we were just, oh my, my god. god. It was. So much fun. I love when you played it. Like, you just got out of the hospital and you just ran and punched a person and just ran away from the police until you died. <laughs> and then, like, the moment you got back out of the hospital, you started that cycle again. The first person you came. Alright, I'm out of the hospital. Let's punch people. The Take that, car! It was fabulous. Uh, I'm so chaotic in GTA. Because it lets you, you be. You are. You're way more chaotic than you are in, like, other games. Yeah. <laughs> like, you make me look ordered in that yeah, game. Oh my god. But, like, GTA V just has so much stuff, too. I, we actually mm -hmm. spent time watching TV in GTA because they had their own, like, original shows in the game. Like, good quality comedy shows. Like, stuff you'd see on, like, comedy sets. Yeah, I was like, wow, this is actually really or more funny. Or like Adult Swim. Something you'd see on Adult Swim. <laughs> so we were, wa yeah. So we were just watching TV in the game, and it was actually really funny. It was fabulous. Am I done with this level yet? Jesus. <laughs> Uh, I wish I had more water, because I'm using my voice a lot. You want some of my tea? Uh, not right now. I'm racing a car. I don't even know if you like chamomile. Have you had chamomile before? Is it, does it taste like camels? No, it's like a really nice, light herbal tea. Look at this straight road with nothing. Yeah, I win. It's really good with, like, honey in it. Oh, right, because he's flying for some reason it. right now, even though he wasn't in the other one. Did you know that tea is, like, the most 
drank. Type, I got a B. Type of drink. Like besides water. Besides water in the world. That makes a lot of sense. That does not surprise me one bit. Yeah, I mean it's it's the only the only beverage that can cross cultures like it does. Um, I guess so. I think coffee is in a lot of cultures too, in different formats. It is. It definitely is. Like coffee and tea are pretty big. Sky Rail. I think this is on Pumpkin Hill. Yes. Shadow gets the Pumpkin Hill of it. If I remember correctly, yeah, this is Shadow's third level. He's only got one more after this, which is on the Space Colony arc. Oh, that's sad. Oh, Pumpkin Hill looks so different. Well, yeah, because it's in daytime, where it's Knuckles was like, at nighttime. It's not like Halloween Town. Have you ever seen the show Halloween Oh, yeah, Town? I forgot this one. You gotta, like, bounce it. It's weird. Um, have I seen uh, the movie Halloween Town? Yeah. I have. Oh, it's so good. I only saw it once when I was a little kid. I remember liking it. Because that's was when I was talking about before on Pumpkin Hill. That's back when I was like really into Halloween, so I yeah. absolutely adored it. See, Beth and I. What? 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 What I do? Beth and I watched it when we were younger, and we finally got like Disney Channel. We loved it and its sequels. But the funny thing is about Halloween Town is that I remember watching it when I was much younger when it like first came out. Um, when my parents actually lived in my grandparents' old house for like a year and like we had our own little TV in our room and so we would watch shows that my parents wouldn't let wow. watch and stuff. That was something. And Halloween Town was on it and it seemed so like magical and cool at the time that it was like what was this show that I watched when I was younger before you know I saw the movie again. You know like, one of those moments? Oh yeah I know You know what you mean, like yeah. when you're younger you see like a glimpse of something and you're like this is really cool and magical and awesome and it like has an impact on you and then you're like, for years, you're trying to figure out yeah, what, what was that was thing that? I saw. What was it? And yeah, I, I did a it. lot of that. Where like, mm -hmm. I can remember like shows and stuff I saw when I was a kid. I'm like, what was that? I just like try to look it up, and it takes me a long time until like I happen to see something posted from it. Like someone's like, does anyone remember this show? Oh, or yeah. or like a meme about the show? And then I'm like, that's the show I was thinking about that I was been looking for. And there was always something that like struck you as like something cool or new or amazing about it. Yeah. Like, I remember, like, the music that Anya did as something that was really striking to me when I was a younger kid, like, really young. Anya? Yeah. Have you heard of Anya? No. She did um, some of the soundtrack music for Lord of the Rings. Okay. And she does, like, this, like, she did these, like, 90s uh, synthy... Celtic-y music. It was, it's, it was kind of its own thing. All right. And my mom listened to her a lot when I was really little. And then, like, for some reason, oh, she didn't listen the end to of her level. all that much later on. So, like, I remember that music from my childhood. And I'm like, I don't know what that was. And in college, I found it. I found Anya. And I'm like, oh, my God. This was, like, the thing that, like, Oh, I remember you listening to it now. Yeah, yeah that's big right. big emotional feels when I was, like, a toddler. Yeah, I remember, so I remember cool. you listening to it in college. That's right. Mm-hmm. Don't you still listen to it here too? Like, Every or you used once to? Once in a while. Like when you, you would use your um, music thingy on your My phone. My Pandora. Pandora, stuff. that's the one. Yeah, because sometimes some Anya songs would pop up. Um, what's the that's other it. thing that did They're that for me growing up? Dragon Ball what Z was one do? of them. Right. Because I remember watching like a part of an episode, and that like struck me a different way. Where it was like. It was a scary anime situation. I'm like, this is kind of cool, but I'm scared shitless, you know? Yeah, I think we're almost done with the dark playthrough. I think we just have everyone's space level yet. Because, like, space we don't level. have to do pyramid levels right now. We already did the pyramid level. The pyramid mm -hmm. base is ours. Cool. That was pretty rough. We did it. Let's go, Amy. Yeah. You little thieves. Did you really think yeah? you could get I mean, no. But wait, I'm, I'm the bad guys this time, so ha ha! Just leave it to me. What, are you gonna Bruce Lee me there, Sonic? <laughs> no, he's gonna rock Lee you. Rock Lee. Rock Lee's wonderful. Ha ha! My egg golem! What are you gonna do about that, Sonic? I really hate how the irises are kind of like off. Off the character. Yeah, yeah it is kind of really weird. weird. Alright. Now this time, I get to be the one to send out the golem against Sonic. Isn't this cool? Yes. Except in this version... 
fails hardcore. Nope, he one shots it. Oh, 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 that's bullshit. Ha uh ha. -huh. So you still lose even though you're playing the villain. That's dumb. Yeah, well, uh, I do get to fight and win, just not against Sonic. <laughs> It gets insulted for me insulting it for losing. Oh, shit, man. Yep, I have to fight it now. It's like, how dare you say bad things about me after losing? So, yes, I have to actually fight the Egg Golem as Eggman. Egg Golem. All right, we'll have to do that next episode, though. See you guys then. Oh, God. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>